Hi everyone, today I'd like to talk to you about making a circular logo using just PowerPoint. So this is my logo and uh, you'll notice that other logos um, aren't necessarily circular, uh, like this one, Melon Heads, Creative Clips, uh, Mom Genier is circular, so uh, Glitter Meets Glue it looks like uh, is square but not transparent. Uh, when you upload your uh, logo into uh, Teachers Pay Teachers, it automatically cuts the square into a circle. But if you're using your logo other places like your website or to place on top of pictures, you're going to want to have a transparent background and a circular logo. So, how do you go about doing that? First, you open PowerPoint, and uh, PowerPoint automatically has a size. So I'm going to change the size of the page. So to change the page size, I'll go up to File, Page Setup, and I'll just change it to 5x5. Five five. I just want it to be a square. You could make it 6x6, six six, whatever you want. So next, I am going to insert a, a shape, a circle, circle, just so that I know uh, the area that I have to work with. And uh, I'm going to hold down the shift key to make sure that the circle keeps its shape and doesn't get warped as I'm stretching it across the square. I don't want it to turn into an oval. And I'm pressing the down arrow to just move the circle in slight ways. And I'm going to change the background color to black, just for now. Okay, next I will insert a text box. This is where I'm going to type my store name. I'll change the font to white. And I want my font to be really clear so that people can see it from afar. So I'm going to make it as big as possible within this circular area. The niche I've always wanted to go into is project-based learning, uh, but I've chosen writing workshop. But I'll just make a logo for what I wish I could do maybe someday. I'll call it... Um, PBL something, let's see, I'll, uh, command C and command, command V to take that text box and copy it. Everything PBL, that's what I'll call it. Everything's pretty long word. Uh, maybe I'll change it to all things so that it's a little bit shorter and can fit within this circular area. I also want to use a different type of font um, in my logo, two types. And these are really important decisions that you need to make um, when creating your store. I'm in love with this font, Amber Light, right now. Oh, but that's really hard to see. So I need to pick a font that's nice and different from the original font, KG uh, Second Chance is Solid. Uh, I want something that I can see really well. Let's, I already picked Amber Light. Let's see. Did I pick this one? Oh, that's really cool looking. I like that. I'll change the size to even larger. Ooh, I'm liking the way this is look, looking. Now I need to add a photo. So I'm going to go and find a stock photo. Um, Oh, I'm going to click Insert, Photo, and then Picture from File. And I already saved one that I really love. I, I bought this a while ago, but I haven't really used it in any sort of way. So this will be a great thing for me to do right now. So notice that this photo is square, and it looks uh, kind of bad. I want just the girl. I don't want this background. And there is a way to do that. I'll show you. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up a new presentation and just put this girl into the presentation. 
Um, so I have my new presentation here and I'm going to change the size again to uh, square page setup five by five. Okay. And I don't need this text box. And I'm just going to control C or command C and command V. So here is the girl. And right now it looks like the background is transparent, doesn't it? But it's not. We know it's not. When you put it over black, it's a square around the girl. So I am going to make the background of uh, the slides black so that I can see what I'm doing. Format, slide background, color, black, apply. All right, now I can see what I'm doing here. So I want to make the background disappear. I'm going to go up to, well, first make sure you're clicked on the image. Go up to Format, Picture, Remove Background. Okay, all of this purple area is what will be removed. When you click the purple area, there are places you'll notice that were taken off, and I want to keep them. And you see the plus sign? Whenever I click there, uh, that color appears. It loads, uh, so all the skin color near that area uh, appears. So I'm going to go ahead and just click the different parts that I need to keep. Uh, that I don't want deleting. All right, so now I'm just going to click Remove Background again, and it's gone. So now I have a transparent photo. I'm going to Command C and come back over here, delete this one, Command V, and there she is. She's transparent. I'm going to click Shift as I resize, and go ahead and add her to my logo. I'm going to play around with the, the text boxes and pictures a little bit just to make sure that everything looks clear and, and nice. And I can even put her off of the circle because later I'm going to cut out the, the entire square just like I did earlier uh, with her. So, and I'll walk you through that in just a minute. So I'm just gonna move things around, try and make this logo look awesome and eye-catching. Another thing I wanna do is match my colors up. So if I want this text to be the same color as her shirt, I can easily do that. I'll just select the font and go up to the text box here and click more colors. I'm going to use this eyedropper tool to pick up this color. Okay. So now that you fit all of your content into the circle, you could get rid of the circle or you could have a border around your logo. I'm going to click the cir circle, right click it, format shape, and let me just show you how to create a border around your logo. So I am going to change this to no fill. Notice how it still has a line around it and it has a shadow. I'm going to unclick shadow and I'm going to change the color of the line by clicking color, more colors, eyedropper tool, pick up her color, okay. And then I'm going to make the, the line thicker by clicking weights and arrows. I'll make it seven. Oh, I lost my uh, PBL, so that's because my circle is no longer black. So I'm going to change that font to black. All right, this is looking really good. Next, I'm going to save this as a PNG. Save as PNG, girl three. And I'm going to open up a new PowerPoint and insert that new PNG into my PowerPoint. This is five by five again. Insert picture from file. I called her girl three. Insert. 
So now this is all together as one image, which is what, it, what I want. That's why I just went through that whole process. Um, okay, so now I wanna try and make the background transparent. The way you're gonna do that is you're gonna click your image and click Crop, Mask to Shape, Basic Shapes, Circle. And notice that a little bit of it came off. Um, so what you'll want to do if you want a border is you'll have to kind of play around with the size of the border. I can always go back to my original uh, PowerPoint and make this circle a little smaller so that that cutoff doesn't happen and then save it as a PNG again. So you'll just have to play around with it a little bit. But you get the idea. How do I know that the, the background is not there anymore? Well, I can go to uh, File, Format, Slide Background, and I'll fill it black just for now to see that, yes, it is a circle. Uh-oh. And so there's this extra part here as well. So I'm just going to have to, if I want a border, I'm going to have to play around with it a little bit and move it and c continually change it to a PNG and try this cropping method uh, multiple times. So um, let's go back to the original and just take the border off and uh, just save this as a PNG again because um, I'm going to show you what it would look like without a border. Save. And I'm going to go back here and just undo everything that I did. Just delete this. I'll insert the new... Uh, picture without the border. Girl 4, insert. Okay, and I'm going to do this cropping method again by clicking crop, and I'm at format picture, mask to shape, basic shapes, circle, and notice how this little part just disappeared. That's because this is now a perfect circle. Watch, I'll show you. Format, slide background, black, and it is now a circle and I don't really have to worry about that border problem. All that's left is saving this image. So I'm gonna click my logo and I'm going to save it as a picture. So I right clicked, save as picture, desktop, new logo, save it and let's go check and see. Yep, it's transparent. We did it. 